We are underway as the ball sails down towards the Warriors in goal, fielded by Luke Metcalf on the try line, and it's going to be Fanua Blake with the first carry of the evening up over the 10 metre line. First time the Warriors have been inside the Dragons' half. Johnson's going to kick on the last. Another high one's going to come down on the 20 for Makale Ravalawa, and he bobbles it in the air. The Warriors are going to come away with it through Marcelo Montoya. Egan goes right side, finds Johnson. Johnson skips across. Good pass, Nickel Klukstar. What's it? He's a Lesniak. There it is. Try number one, and guess who? It's here, Dallin, five minutes into this game. Four points to nil, the Warriors lead kick to come. Now Harris finds Metcalf. Not a pretty pass, but eventually it finds Pompey. Pompey then has Montoya. Montoya's going to go across in the left-hand corner. Now it looked like nothing was on for the Warriors. It wasn't the prettiest passing either. But here goes Marcelo Montoya, the two wingers. Showing up for the Warriors early. Eight points to nil with a kick to come. So it's going to come up as a no try. Courtesy of the bunker. We will go back to four points to nil. And the Dragons conveniently will get a penalty. Dragons now has tackled 30 metres out from the Warriors line on tackle three. Going back to Hunt in the middle. Dancing across field once again. Now here's Tyrell Sloan. He gets away from Pompey. And Tyrell Sloan, look at that! He's just carved up the Warriors defence. The young number one. He's walked in underneath the posts as well, and it's going to be four points all with a kick to come. Bends away Metcalf, gets away from Ford, gets away from another. Slow now one-on-one -on -one with Nickel Klukstar, and this time, Chance brings him down, but Tyrell Sloan causing headaches for the Warriors. Here goes Lomax, short side, gets a pass away. Ravalawa! Has he got it down? It will be some finish if he's been able to stretch out the right arm. They'll go upstairs. When his hands come off the ball. That is a great play from Montoya Kempi, who not only took Ravalawa towards the sideline, but managed to get his hand on the ball and dislodge it. So, no try for the Dragons. What can the Warriors do here on last tackle? Here's Johnson going across field. Johnson then finds Metcalf. Skip pass out the back to Montoya. Montoya, can he still get it down? He's going to be held up. No. Marcelo Montoya fights out of the tackle of Zach Lomax. And the Warriors finally get the four-pointer they've been after. Eight points to six. Sean Johnson will have a tough kick from the sideline, but Montoya, who was denied once, won't be denied again. But they're going to go short side. Egan finds Johnson. Johnson puts a little grubber through. And Siridin hanging off his right-hand shoulder. It was a play they drew up two plays previous. And Bailey Siridin. The man who came off the interchange has got try number three for the Warriors. 12 points to six, and they've got a kick to come. Johnson will get a kick inside the Dragons' half. Gets a few steps on before he puts it in here. It's a it's big a high kick. bomb. It's a great kick. Picked up by Walker. And here goes Jackson Ford underneath the posts. Well, this one's going to be interesting because it was a jostle between Dylan Walker and Jackson Ford. Both of them had the ball in hand. Jackson Ford peeled away with it and scored underneath the posts. The hooter has sounded. Adam G will blow the whistle. And the Warriors will head into the sheds after a up-and-down first half, 20 points to six ahead. Slow play the ball, but they're five metres out. Here's Little, dancing across field. Ball back inside and getting there as he reaches out the arms. Is it Musgrove? It is Zane Musgrove who ran a beautiful line back towards the inside. Fought through three Warriors defenders, stretched out the right arm right underneath the posts. And the Dragons strike first here in the second half. Six minutes gone, it's 20 points to 10. Here goes Egan now. Going right side, Johnson. Johnson has men running up through the middle. Here goes Fanua Blake. Nickel Klukstar. He finds Berry. Berry finds Wittini Zalesniak. And here, Dallin in the corner flies high. And the Warriors respond with a try of their own. Walker then has a crash play through for Noah Blake and an offload to Johnson, Sean Johnson. SJ gets the offload from Fanua Blake underneath the post. It's 28 points to 12 and another two on the way. Going to be playing it on tackle for Marcelo Montoya. They're going back towards the middle. Here's Walker. Walker has men running through. Finds Johnson. Johnson, Nickel Klukstar, steps out of a tackle. Finds Wateni Zalesniak. He's running for the corner. Men on the outside. He'll go himself. No, he won't. He offloads. And Rocco Berry. He's in amongst the scoring action. The Warriors number three. And the Warriors get another four-pointer, 34 points to 12. Now a kick through on the last, comes off the post, picked up by Molo, I think. And Francis Molo yeah. off the post. The bad deflection got away from Nickel Klukstart. And the Dragons do have try number three. Fanua Blake, Johnson, quick hands. Here's Nickel Klukstar on this left-hand edge. Now Rocco Berry finds Wateni Zalesniak. Is he going to get a hat-trick? Wateni Zalesniak rises up. 
touches down and DWZ here, Dallin, has try number eight for the Warriors and his third of the night. Egan. Back towards the middle. Johnson, they want to attack the left edge again. Here's Nickel Klukstar. A pass to Matini Zelesiak. Can he get four? Yes, he can. Well, he should change his last name to try scoring machine because he's gone over for number four. And he's hardly breaking a sweat, Kempe. It's going to be 46 points to 18, and Sean Johnson will have a chance to make it 48. As tackle three is going to come up through Metcalf. He's dancing around. Do they want more points? Here's Arlet. He takes the charge up over halfway. And the siren does sound. Adam G blows the whistle and the Warriors, their most commanding win of 2023, arguably their most commanding win of the last five years, 48 points to 18 over the Dragons. They get another two points. They solidify themselves inside the top eight. Most importantly, they get two valuable points away from home, Kempe. Uh, time now for our Grain Corp quality moment. Grain Corp feeds your trusted partner for quality dairy feed options. Kempe, give me a moment, your favourite moment of the match. Well, there's only one, and there's actually two. No, no, there's three. <laughs> oh, I'm going to say there's four. There's Dallin Watini. Is Air Dallin going over to score four tries tonight. He's been in fine form. Eight from eight, I said right at the beginning. Well, he added to that tally. He's got 11 tries in the last eight games and doesn't he look good? Dallin Watini Zelezniak, who scored four tries tonight. Could have uh, probably scored a lot more if the Warriors held the football, but you've got to be happy with the system at the moment. The offensive um, team up against the last three teams have scored plenty of points. They scored 30 down there in Canberra. They scored... Uh, tw late 20s up against the Broncos and tonight they get close to 50 uh, the offensive side mate they're in cracking form at the moment so there you go down with Timmy Zelezniak and his four tries uh, our grain court quality moment and finally our key matchups tonight uh, thanks to MG discover the use of electric with MG New Zealand we had Ben Hunt V. Sean Johnson we had Jaden Sewer V. Maratini Akore we had Dylan Walker V. Ben Murdoch Masilla just pick me the person who dominated their match up the most, Kempi, for our uh, player that took charge with MG. Well, I was Sean Johnson. You know, Ben Hunt doesn't even have to go to the laundry this week to d dust off his suit because he didn't want to have anything to do with the game. And Sean Johnson, in the end, took control once they were offloading. They had nine offloads there in the first half, which is something unusual of the Warriors, and they looked a little bit disorganised on the back of them. Once they went back to their system, Sean Johnson jumped in that first receiver and had plenty of try assists. His kicking game, again, was first class. His kick chase was first class. And just the way that he controlled it is re one of the big reasons why Dallin Otini Zelesniak went over for such an easy night. Four tries being scored down that right edge. Could have been plenty more if they held the ball, the Warriors. But Sean Johnson absolutely dominating their origin hero, Ben Hunt, tonight down there in Wollongong. SCNZ. It's Kiwi for sport.